नमस्कार एवोल्यूशन एंड डिवेलपमेंट वेल दीज आर टू वर्ड्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर इन टूडे सत्संग both of these are as you know english words which are which are pretty common most of us would think we know the meanings what these two words mean but the reason why we will delve on this this particular topic and these two words today is again for the same reason that we spoke or discussed the concepts of you know the other trap that we discussed the other day you remember we discussed about a trap a particular particular obstacle which we often often trip against you know that the, the trap do you remember well if you remember then it's good that means you are doing your homework right because if you don't remember it it also signifies that well you are listening to this satsang every day or whenever you get time etc it's it's getting into your ears and you know somewhere but you're not really taking in it taking it into your whole self and that's probably means you're not doing enough homework with it that the stuff that happens when we were when we were growing up in school we would have in in a school class we would have class work and homework whatever would happen in the class would be called class work and then the teacher would give us some things to do on the same subject at home well we all know that's homework uh, well things have changed that's why i'm i'm explaining Uh, all this these simple terms but homework really means that we are whatever we have learned in some place maybe in the school of life we actually do some more research with it we think about it we we kind of analyze it in our free time wherever we may be sitting we re- take notes we write it somewhere we do something more with it we process it so the more you process what you learn or what you hear in these satsangs the more it will be useful for you and that's how the knowledge will become wisdom when you process it and then you otherwise it will just remain information now from information to knowledge to wisdom is really listening or getting some something some information processing it in every different way possible and then applying it you know that's the journey from information to knowledge to wisdom but that's not our topic today what we are discussing is another trap the last trap that we talked about let me remember, remind all of you was horizontal and vertical trap i'm not going to the details of that that's that is already covered but similarly today we are going to talk about the evolution and development trap we often find ourselves ourselves trapped in this in this fallacy or this paradox what is the paradox well uh the fallacy is or the paradox that we find ourselves in is the is is best exemplified or or best sim, um, signified by the question is tradition better or modernity better in this in this tug of war between tradition and modernity things the ancient times and the modern times which is better you know there are we we find people who all around us we ourselves there are so many times we say that well you know those were the days you know those days they were so beautiful so good things were so nice easy and all of that where we talk great you know with great fondness about the past and then when whenever we are saying this there is an implied or or tacit or very clear clear verbalized notion that what is happening today in modernity is all bad you know what what is going on today look at this so that kind of a value judgment about tradition and modernity comes in sometimes it's the it's the vice versa or the other way around we would say that well you know everything in those olden days so many things were just so backward it was so kind of underdeveloped and so unevolved things have evolved so much you know we are we are so far ahead now look at look at how slavery used to be there and we have come out of it and look at so many other things if you look at technology and what what have you everything has evolved so much things that were not possible those days all of things those things have become like a child's play today so so we have really grown and evolved as human beings or as a as a nation as a people as as a world so this is the other thinking other thought so that's the fallacy or or the 
paradox or the dilemma. You know, is, is tradition or modernity? Now, in, that's just an example. There are so many such other examples. But this, specifically in this tradition versus modernity, this fallacy or this tug of war, the evolution versus developed uh, trap comes in very, very prominently. And it's important to understand the nuances of this trap and the nuances of these two terms in order to really get the most out of the karmiyog for 21st century fit for life sadhana itself. This sadhana paddhati or this path of daily routine where we are, we are, we are persuading you, trying to, trying to really persuade and, and tell you, request you to spend three hours every day on this path, on this journey. It's not, not a simple task. Giving three hours every day, day after day, bringing it, bring, making something a daily routine, making daily practices which involve your tan pran man chit, your physical, energetic, mental, spiritual. So it's an omnidal practice routine that we are talking about. It's an integral practice of your life. You know, it, it's, a, it's a big deal. Now, if you make mistakes, if you do not understand the basics, then this whole sadhana paddhati or this path will lead you nowhere or it can add actually lead you to more harm. And that is why that's the importance of these sessions. Even though there are just 10 to 15 minutes, whereas the practices are fairly long, but it's very important to really understand what we are discussing in these sessions. So back to evolution and development fallacy or trap. Well, Evolution is something that is inevitable. It is said that evolution is inevitable, which means no one can stop evolution. It's something that's there in our, in, in nature itself. Nature has this capacity or this, uh, this quality to keep evolving. And hence evolution is inevitable. So leaders, when they come in promising development, you have to remember that when, when, or when you are judging, and these leaders could be political leaders who are running countries or just leaders in your, in your team, in your group, in, your, in a project, in your organization, anywhere. Leaders or in your family, in your society. Leaders always come in with the promise of development. They say that we will take responsibility for overall development. Now you have to remember that when you are judging these later, including when you are judging this particular path later. What I am saying every day, when you are judging, what, you are, what I am imploring you to practice every day. All of these, when you sit to judge, you have to judge it with the lens of this wisdom about evolution and development. Evolution is inevitable, in, irrespective of, of what we do or we don't do, whether we do sadhana or not, in, evolution is going to happen. Evolution can, the, the sadhana can accelerate the evolution. It can accelerate. Your evolution can happen more rapidly. It can happen more surely, you know, with more definitiveness. All that is true. But there is no guarantee that that will lead to development because there is a fundamental difference between evolution and development. What is the difference? Well, evolution is inevitable, inevitable as we said, whether we talk of the theory of Big Bang or we talk about how, let's say, if you take weaponry or technology, you just take computers, how they have evolved over the ages. You know, a, a, a big, massive computer has now been brought into a small, small hand phone, you know, the, the smartphone that, that we are all carrying in our hands. That's evolution. Weapons from stones that we used to throw to each other when way back when we were just you know, coming up of age as humans. From then we, we got, you know, sticks and, and then we connected the sticks and the stones together and then we found metal and then we discovered metal and then we invented other weapons which where we connected sticks and metals and, and then we went on and we really discovered gunpowder or, or, or things that could blast. We had things, seen blasts happening on, on nature. In, as part of natural activity and then we got it in control through gunpowder through chemicals mixing chemicals and then we got it into weaponry and then we connected it with 
technology in terms of information technology now we have drones precise drones going and what have you so many other kinds of things this is all evolution all evolution no inevitable in one way or the other well sometimes you will see this in language there are so many languages today any take any language the language is adding new words to it gaining from other sources other languages a language is evolving sometimes of course these things disappear they become obsolete so we say lupta ho gaya in 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 hindi or in tradition indian languages means they have gone gone away from faded away from from uh, um common parlance you know a, a certain language sometimes vanishes because people stop speaking that language and, and all that and all that is part of that may be called involution or devolution i don't know what term you would want to use but that that fading away obsolescence that is also there but evolution is inevitable it keeps happening evolution however does not essentially mean development when a ev- development means there is a, a value judgment to this evolutionary process when evolution is happening and it is leading to betterment leading to what is beautiful leading to what is good leading to what is true so more truer be- beautiful and good this we we talked about this earlier the integration of the good and the true and the beautiful is divine and the disintegration of that and an integration of untrue and ugly and and what is not good that is evil so if these are the two ends of the spectrum the divine and the evil then when evolution is used to express the divine forces through evolutionary processes divinity gets expressed that is what we call development but when through evolutionary forces the evil gets expressed we cannot call that development that's the destruction that's not creation i mean so creation could be evolution evolution creates new possibilities but possibility is both for divine as well as evil to express itself in newer ways when we are using evolutionary processes evolutionary framework or evolved elements in order to give expression to the divine then we can say development is going on when it is being expressed in order to to give expression to the evil we have to be clear that we are not talking of development evolution in, is there in both of these but development is a certain kind of judgment so we have to remember this then that there is a difference between evolution and development well another day we have to talk about what is divine and what is evil because that's the other trap where we can easily kind of escape and 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 sabotage this whole discussion that we have into uh, in into the discussion of of what is divine and what is evil and we have talked about it earlier on another session but and we will talk about it further also but we have to remember that when we are engaging in this fit for life program coming to you from karmi hook for 21st century we have to always have this lens if you have heard this satsang today and if you are taking it within you you have to become a being who is constantly using these practices using this path to refine your judgment about development and not get confused between development and evolution and use the evolutionary processes in order to become a developmental person a developmental culture a developmental society a developmental individual a developmental collective so that's really the goal or or one of the many important goals of this program do not veer away from that goal do not miss that out and do not fall in the trap the evolution development trap and and make a mess of your sadhana of your daily routine in order to get the most out of it please understand and be careful be alert about the development evolution trap that's all for today folks have a great day take it easy and take care namaskar